Robotic surgeons, is it science fiction or reality? For most people, the hospital tops the list of worst places to visit. With the advancement of technology, hospitals now include an additional scare factor. Robots who operate on people instead of surgeons who live, breathe, and think. Robotic surgery is at the forefront of medicine, but it comes with many risks. Utilizing systems such as the Da Vinci and the STAR produce less qualified surgeons, extended operating and anesthesia time, and an increase of risks and complications for the patient who is undergoing the surgery. Robotic surgery first launched in 1987 with the first minimally invasive surgery. Now, leading institutions in the medical field, such as the Intuitive Surgical Incorporated and the Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, have created the most popular surgical robots, the Da Vinci Robot Surgical System and the Soft Tissue Autonomous Robot, or the STAR. Traditionally, students learn through the method See One, Do One, Teach One. Now, however, the tried and true method has been changed, seeing as how the only console to operate the, the robot is monopolized by the attending surgeon with no extra work to be done by the learning students. Without the hands-on practice of surgery and the constant studying of new techniques outside of the operating room, students would not receive the opportunity to develop into qualified students, thus producing a new inexperienced and unprepared generation of surgeons. As a result of complications that can arise from the last minute decisions that the head surgeon must carry out, these life or death situations are split second and require a quick, knowledgeable mind to answer them with the proper accuracy and execution. When complications arrive, no pre-programmed robot takes into account how a specific patient will react. On average, an open surgery performed by humans results in less mistakes and took six hours less than the star. As you can see, any time the organ shifts, the surgeon must stop the planned operation of the robot to reposition and then resume, resulting in an extended operating time. Although the process ultimately finishes with a complete end product, it takes longer than any human. Ultimately, the goal for the robotic surgical system, such as the Da Vinci or STAR, is to assist surgeons to improve their outcomes, and usually, they achieve this. The system enhances precision, flexibility, and control on top of offering the option to perform delicate and complex procedures that may have been difficult or impossible with other methods. The small instruments at the end of the mechanical arms on the Da Vinci system allows the surgeon to make small incision points inside the body cavity where hands were too large to fit. And with the high visibility that the camera offers, the surgeon can see inside of the cavities that were once disguised as shadows. In the operation recently conducted by Johns Hopkins Hospital, the STAR was found to be superior to surgery performed by expert surgeons, concluding that the potential for autonomous robots to improve the efficacy, consistency, functional outcome, and accessibility of the surgical techniques to be entirely feasible in the near future. Many doctors see this as true and accept the robots into the operating room as extensions of themselves. When interviewed about the, how the Da Vinci system works with precision and accuracy, Dr. Christian Thomey expressed his love for the system. One of the most remarkable new technologies in medicine. He also mentioned his appreciation of the delicate control the system gives to surgeons, such as himself. As you can see, the careful details that produce a masterful image are minute, showing the extreme precision the Da Vinci system exhibits. At the forefront of medicine stands robotic surgery, ready to take over surgery as we know it with flashy machines and supposed better outcomes. With technology growing at an unprecedented rate, no accurate prediction foresees a substitute for surgeons as much as a useful extension. In the near future, faulty programs and preventable out, uh, complications will only exist in the past. Robots and surgeons will work seamlessly side by side, and the surgeon will decide why to operate and what to do, but the robot can help with the how. But for present time, robots need to lay dormant until absolutely perfect in order to avoid producing unqualified surgeons, extended operating and anesthesia time, and causing unnecessary risks and complications for the patient on the table.